Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and you can see we're testing the nine day. We're getting ready to probably take another look at the weekly pivot this morning down at 36.6083. Um, this is what the tape really had to do. Uh, I'm not ready to even call it a pullback at this point. I just think it's some profit taking. I mean, all you've really done is come back and test the nine day. We tested the nine day here, that didn't go well. You tested the nine day here, it didn't go well. We held above it for a few days. They had a chance to take it down. That didn't happen. So, you know, in the nine day held here. So until for me, the, the, one of the baseline rules has always been whether to, it, as to whether we are in a buy dips tape or a sell rallies tape is where is price relative to the daily mid band. The daily mid band is down at 36.24. Do I think it needs a look? Sure. Does that mean the bears are good enough to get there? I have no idea. Uh, there were moments yesterday where they were. Uh, couple of nice shorts, uh, the beginnings of a, of a trend down day yesterday, we were able to get short um, 37.01 half and then follow it up 72.25 and then just kind of, you know, then we were long and the afternoon got really sloppy after two o'clock. Um, it just, the bears though, you know, we can see it here on the hourly chart. They couldn't finish here and they couldn't finish again here yesterday afternoon. And we spent the rest of the day from two to four o'clock really just kind of fighting over the fact of whether or not it was gonna be able to, to take out the weekly pivot. So you also have the nine day, that's coming in at 71. So right now we're below the nine day and above weekly pivot, which is what we did yesterday in a much more truncated way with the nine day at 67 and weekly pivot at 60. So basically the majority of these hourly candles price-wise on shorter time frames, it's just fighting between 60 and 67, um, and and just kind of range trading between the two, with a couple of outbursts of 70, uh, you know, as high as 75, uh, but you know, never being able to take out uh, the 59s at all on the downside. So, I think the bears are going to get another solid look at weekly pivot today. It's an area that I want to be long above, and I want to be short below. Um, we're flat now. Uh, we're letting it come in. Messed around with it a little bit last night. 74 was a key area there, um, but it just, you know, we chopped through Asia. Um, you know, they come in, Europe buys it. Nice little move from 67 up to 80. But this is, this, this, this move here has a very distinct purpose. It's to go down and retest these lows, and we'll see how it goes. You know, the sooner the bears, stop leaving matching lows and double bottoms all over the place, the much easier their life is gonna get. So the number one task for them today is they need a distinct lower low versus yesterday's low at 59 half. That price needs to go. That brings them back into the conversation. Um, what do the bulls need to do? Defend the weekly pivot again. Get back above the hourly mid band, close above all of it, close above hourly mid band, close above weekly pivot, um, and you know, ideally close above the daily pivot at 81.83, and then as we head into Friday, you know, you get to the whole who wants to be shortened to the weekend thing. Um, but you know, the move from, from 37.14 back into, into 59, that's, you know, that's, that's profit taking, and that's fine. That's what should happen. We should have you know, a healthy, kind of two-sided market. And we haven't had that in a long time, as evidenced by this just low level ramp job that we've been going through. Um, so I'd love to see it come in and deal with here. And then we'll really know where we stand in, into December and what it wants to be. Um, but that is up to the bears. It's not up to the bulls. In a vacuum, this thing goes higher. The bears want to assert themselves. Here's a great opportunity to do it. So we'll see, we'll see how that plays into the close. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.